мой бой. cleansers and moisturizing ingredients um but then still use a matte-ish foundation but the key to that is then um lots and lots of hydration to your skin beforehand so that's really 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 important um and i then like to add my glow so i don't like to be totally matte and flat but i like my foundation to be flat because i tend to find that stays on with me a bit better um yeah, so I'm going to be using the New Revolution Hydrate Primer. Um, there's been a, a range of new primers coming out from Revolution at the minute. And this is one of the ones that I've got. Um, I do have the pore blurring as well. Um, and that just tends to uh, depend on what kind of skin day I'm having, what kind of foundation I'm using, what kind of look I'm going for. But today, because I'm using the more matte foundation, um, I'm going to be using the Hydrate Primer. I've ridiculously cleansed and moisturized and then we're going to go in with this as well as you would expect it's a bit more um liquidy than the other primers uh definitely more so than a more silicon based primer so i'm just going to pop that everywhere my skin as well can be very very changeable throughout the day throughout the month um as i'm sure most of yours are as well it does get oilier towards that certain time of the month um it can get oily dependent on what i'm doing what the temperature and the weather is like outside um which is why i do keep a different range of finishes in terms of my foundations and my primers so that i can just deal with that um, as and when but it's been a learning curve to kind of grasp what my skin texture and type is and that it does change and what to do when it does change so for the minute that's the primer done okay so before i deal with foundation i'm then going to go in with the revolution conceal and define and this is in the shade 0 0.5 sorry and this i'm just going to put under my eyes and down the center of my face And I use this to kind of mark out my eyes as well. Obviously, I've done my eyeshadow. That is for another video. So if you want to see that one, go and have a look. But if it's not there yet, make sure you're subscribed. Okay, so I'm just going to very gently just pat that in with a damp beauty sponge. And it just kind of brightens up that area before we then put foundation over the top of it. So we're kind of creating the dimension before we even get going with the foundation. Okay, so it's at this point, my boyfriend will be like, um, is everything okay? If they're like that, you're doing it right. Okay, so now it's time for foundation, and I'm using, again, the Revolution New Matte Base Foundation. This is in the shade F4, which is more of a kind of fair-skinned pink undertone. Then I'll go in with my damp beauty sponge and just apply that throughout the facial region. Look at that coverage. Ooh. Might look really pale on camera, but just bear with. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline concealer, and this is the Instant Anti Age Eraser Concealer, and this is in the shade, does it say? Uh, 05 Brightener, and this is for my under eye area. Oh my god i love this applicator so this is like a peachy pink color and this applicator is ridiculous and again blended that in with our beauty sponge boop, boop. 
this for me is kind of brightening, filling in any of that kind of creasiness or those fine lines that we all get. Um, and just starts to add a little bit of that dimension back. Look, so look how brightening that is. Just look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so next I'm just going to set under the eye area with my Revolution Lace Powder. Like I said, I have dry skin, so I do not need to bake at all. I literally just dab it on to set and then brush it away straight away. Right, so then we're going to start adding the dimension back and I'm using the Revolution Pro HD uh, Contour Palette in Fair. So where's my brushes? I think I'm going to use my little Spectrum uh, Contour Brush. This is the A05 and I'm going to go in with this one in the middle Come on, make the face. Oh, look at that already. Okay, and then we're gonna go for under there and get rid of all the chins. Believe me, I have several. And then we're gonna start to get rid of the five head. Okay, and then just with what's left on the brush, squish it down. Then it's time for bronzer, and again, it's a Revolution one. It's the Revolution Ultra Bronze. Um, it's totally matte, there's no shimmer to it whatsoever, which is part of the reason I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna use my big spectrum, is it the A? Yeah, the A01 there. And just look what a difference to that side that's made already. It's kind of getting rid of that harsh um, paleness that I have. And I like to, once I've kind of stamped it on where I want it, I like to kind of swirl the same brush round, no extra product at all. Okay, so once I've done that kind of stage, <laughs> once I've gone up to that kind of stage in the base, um, I like to give a quick spritz of the Revolution Hyaluronic Fixing Spray. We haven't finished yet, do not worry. Um, so I just like to give that and just let those powders kind of settle and just set in place a little bit before we then go over it with blusher and highlight and just lock that kind of dimension um, back in place. Oh my God, I'm running out. Oh, it went in my ear. Ooh, that was a sensation. Hopefully you can see as well, it's not got that kind of harsh brightness, but it's more just highlighted down the center of the face. And we've got those kind of dimensions coming back a little bit as well. Okay, so once that is dried and in place and set, I like to then go in with blusher. And I'm using the Revolution Sugar and Spice Palette for my blush there. Um, where's my favorite blush brush? There it is can't remember where I got this from um I think it was yeah I can't remember I literally can't remember but it's my favorite blusher brush so I'm gonna use um just gonna very very lightly use um this one or this one I think this one um which is just kind of more of a muted kind of mauvey pink not a huge blusher girl obviously i do like to have a flush of color on my cheek um i'm more about the highlight and the highlight i've chosen today is a little bit tinted as well so yosh so i don't want like a big pink splodge going on there and as well because i've got kind of a purple eye look on i want that to stand out and be the star so I don't want any blusher that's gonna detract from that. So this is probably not coming across very well on camera, but it just gives a little bit of, little flush of color there. And the same technique, I'm kind of stamping it on and then blending it where I want it to go. And because again, I've got such a small face, I like to elongate my face and rather than put it in the apples of my cheek, which kind of smushes my face a little bit, I kind of give it that swoop up to my cheekbones there. Right. 
arguably my favourite stage in any makeup look is highlighter and today I've picked the i heart revolution bleeding hearts highlighter if you've not seen these oh my god go and look at the website they're beautiful so it's the heart highlighter bricks from i heart revolution and this one is that beautiful blush pink but with that gold veining through it oh my god it's absolutely gorgeous my favorite brush to apply this with is from revolution and it's one of the i think this was the metals no, this was the Champagne Brush Collection, and this one is just absolutely, can you see there? I don't know, it's just perfect with this highlighter, and it's my favourite one. So just dab, 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 dab. Mm. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, look at it. Ah! Oh, can you see? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And look, do you see what I mean? It's got that kind of pop of colour in it as well, but then, ding! Oh, I love it so much. Oh, it's the best bit. It's the best bit. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to go in with the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil from Benefit, which I've nearly run out of. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just... Where's my spoolie gone? It's just incredible. It really is Goof Proof. I mean, if I can do it, it's obviously an easy product. So I'm just brushing through my brows with the little spoolie that I've got on one of my brushes. Just kind of putting those into place and then I'm going to fill them in with this. Okay, well that exercise just proved my eyebrows need doing. Um, righty ho. So, what's next? What's next? Oh yes, liner. Okay, so my weapon of choice when it comes to liner is the Revolution Renaissance Slick Liner. This is absolutely amazing particularly if you like doing a winged liner so cross your fingers that this goes well but yeah this is my favorite favorite eyeliner Okay, that is the upper lid lined. Now for the um, waterline, I use uh, just a, a black coal pencil. And this one is a new one and is a Rimmel one, I think. Yeah, this is a Rimmel one that I bought recently. Um, but the any kind of really dark black um, waterproof is really good because obviously it's going in your waterline, so it's going to be more moist um, and you want it to stay there. But the waterline... If you can manage to do it, if it doesn't freak you out too much, it makes such a difference. So for me, I just kind of get my finger underneath the lower lid and just, just not pull it down, but just kind of rest my finger so it just kind of exposes that, that waterline so it doesn't feel like it's too near the eyeball, if that helps. And just run your pencil all the way along i'd say it's more of like a charcoal gray than a black but it's doing the job for now okay so that is basically how i get the base to go down um at this point when you've done your eyeliner if you need to if you've kind of had a bit of a wobble on the underside you can kind of go back in with more concealer and just tidy it up but thank the stars today mine isn't too bad and it's actually gone fairly well so i'm not going to go in and clean it up and do anything too drastic with it so that's kind of the base down um i will then just go and tidy up the rest of my face get the lashes done get the rest of my eye look done get the lipstick on and then it will be a case of coming back and setting it so let me just go and do all that and we can come back um and set it and see what the final look is ta-da there we go that's the finished look
marvellous. The last thing I've got to do is the setting spray and I'm going to use the Obsession Moon Glow, sticking with the kind of purple theme um, from me eyes. Give it a shake, swirly, swirly, swirl. It's one of those that you don't realise you're spraying it for ages because it's such a fine mist. So then you're actually just covered in sparkle, which is wonderful for me. Um, but just look at the sheen that's left on my face. I do have a hell of a lot of highlighter on. Um, but yeah, I love it. What do you think of the eye look? Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that being on my channel um, as well if you want to see how I went and got that but that today was um, how I get my base and what kind of products I use and what process I go through um, to achieve this whatever this is um but yeah that's me done for the day i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you go and let me know in the comments and let me know what your favorite part was do you use any of these products have you got any tips you can pass on to me or each other in the comments that would be wonderful make sure you give this one a big thumbs up make sure you're subscribed make sure you're sharing this video with all your friends and make sure you have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing next i love you lots thank you for watching bye Oh, you're not